Welcome to On Our Shelf. Let's see what Bartholomew has for us today. Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Barf Hold on a second. I knew I'd find you in here. Bartholomew, give me the PlayStation Vita. Please give it. We have to do a review. Give it to me now. Bartholomew, give me the PSP back. Like, go. Okay, now we got it from Bartholomew. What we have is a review of the Sony PlayStation Vita. So this is the box that it comes in. So let's talk about design. This PlayStation has a very nice design, very glossy. It's definitely gonna attract fingerprints, um, but that's not gonna take away from it. It's what you expect, very you know, glossy black finish. But again, it's very nice, very, very nice, sturdy design, and it's very lightweight also. So at the top of the beta, you have the power button. On the bottom, you have the slot for the memory stick. There's a slot for the USB cable slash power cord and headphone jack. I have no clue what this slot is for right here. Someone please tell me. The slot right next to it is the slot for your game. It now uses cartridges, no more UMDs. Right here are your, are your volume controls. Right here on the back is a rear facing camera. It's not HD and also a touchpad. You have a left shoulder button, right shoulder button. Standard X square circle triangle button, a front facing camera, not HD, a PlayStation home button with a speaker next to it. Also a start and select button and a normal D-pad and two joysticks, which is also new. The last one only had one. And there's also a speaker to the right, which I forgot to point out. So there's two speakers total. Okay, so to charge the device up or connect it to a computer, just connect the USB cable to the bottom of the PlayStation, connect the other end to the power supply, connect the power cord to the power supply, and plug the device into the wall. Now getting started, grab the four gigabyte memory stick that was also included and put that into the PlayStation Vita itself. Just like so. There we go. And go ahead, once you get in, go ahead and close it back up. And then what you want to do is press the power button, hold it for like two or three seconds, and then the PlayStation Vita will power up. This is also the first initial setup. So this is what you're gonna go through. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this part. It basically asks you for a time zone, time and date, um, what language, Wi-Fi password, billing information. And just tr it tries to connect you to your, and it will connect you to your existing PlayStation account if you already have one. And once you get done, it shows you a welcome screen. It looks something like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward the rest of this. It's about a one minute introduction. Um, it's pretty neat, it really shows you how beautiful the screen is and kind of some of the features you can use. It's a really neat introduction. Okay, so let's talk about the design of this product. The design is very nice and I'd expect that coming from the Sony. It's very lightweight, very compact. It does fit into your pocket. Um, it just feels nice and solid overall. And again, I really like it. The th I like the fact that it's lightweight. It's not a very heavy device, so that makes it good for gaming. So in terms of design, I would have to give this uh, product probably an 8 out of 10. I think it's very good. The only complaint that I have about the design is the uh, joysticks. I think they're just a little bit too small for me. And I don't have very big hands. And also the X triangle and circle buttons. I haven't played with the old PlayStation uh, Portable in a long time. But I think I remember the buttons being a little bit bigger than this. I could be wrong or maybe my hands have gotten a lot fatter. But these buttons seem a little bit too small for me. And I kept pressing the... Uh, I would go. I would try to press X or circle or triangle. I'd press probably two buttons at one time, but but that might just be a flaw that I had. But other than that, the design is pretty good. All right, so now let's talk about the display. This display is gorgeous. It's a huge improvement over the old PlayStation Portable. Games look really really good. Everything kind of pops out at you, and also movies play really really good. I only had a chance to experience it with Netflix though, um, but they look really really good. And also, as far as reflection goes, it's not that bad at all. Um, with this particular device. And also the touchscreen display works really, really well. As you can see, I'm playing it right here. It's very responsive. I haven't had any problems with it lagging or anything. It's very, very responsive. As you can see, I'm playing around in the App Store. Speaking of the App Store, let's talk about the App Store uh, or the PlayStation Store. I shouldn't even call it the App Store. Um, it, it's filled with content. They have pretty much everything you need at this time and date. Um, plenty of movies to download, uh, plenty of applications, uh, plenty of games to download, plenty of demos. 
um, and it worked pretty good. This is again a Wi-Fi model, so everything I've downloaded um, was coming from Wi-Fi, and it's pretty fast. It's not that bad. And whenever you want to get out of an application, you just press the home button like I just did right there. Press it like twice. It takes you right back to the home menu. As far as the web browser itself goes, um, just go ahead and just tap the internet button. Again, I'm doing this over Wi-Fi. I'm going to go ahead and type in an address. And this thing does not have flash, so not every website works that well. And this is an actual speed coming off Wi-Fi. So the web page just loaded. That took about 10 seconds. Okay, so let's talk about the apps. You have a welcome app, which just kind of walks you through what the PlayStation Vita is all about. Party app for texting and voice chatting. Near app, it shows you other PlayStation Vita players near you, which is really cool. Friends app just shows you a list of all your friends. As you can see, as we scroll through them. Group messaging app for kind of just, you know, sending messages within a group. There's a trophy app to view your trophies. Music app for playing music. Video app for playing videos or watching movies. There's a remote play app for using your PlayStation Vita as a controller to connect with your PlayStation 3. There's also a Maps app, which works pretty good. The search feature also works pretty well. We're going to go ahead and type in Kmart right here. Hit search and it's going to show us the Kmarts that are near us. And also the settings where you can go in and pretty much adjust things like date and time, brightness, network, applications, notifications, system, reformat things, stuff like that. Okay, so now let's get to the main point of this whole review video games. How do video games work and how do they play? Well, let me start off by saying video games are excellent. They look fabulous. Of course, that really depends on the game that you're playing. For example, right here we have Uncharted, which is one of the most which is probably one of the best games out for the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation Vita itself. But this particular game plays really well and just games in general they play really well. You will not be let down and you will not be disappointed by the graphics, the gameplay and how smooth the uh, controls work and stuff like that. I mean, you just won't be disappointed. That's one thing. I have nothing negative to say at all about the gameplay and playing games and the availability of content for the PlayStation Vita. There's a lot of games out there to play. I'll show you a couple um, other games as well. For example, here's Madden right here. As you can see, the players look really great. The feel looks great. The gameplay is really, really good. And I mean, overall, just Again, there's another game that there was no problems to be had with it. Everything worked out great. The gameplay is great. Um, it's really good. This OLED display is just amazing. I mean, it's amazing to look at. It really is. And right here we have Call of Duty Black Ops, which is a game where um, it's pretty dark. A lot of the uh, boards or levels are dark, but they still look really, really good on this display. So my overall opinion of this device is I highly recommend it for the price of $249. You cannot beat it. It's a great deal. This is a great multimedia device and my favorite um, gaming handheld portable device out on the market today. Hands down, Sony knocked this one out of the park. This is a home run. Great deal. Uh, you'll like it a lot. Thanks for watching. Um, and if I follow you, you can have it back.